My father and I partied like rock stars a little bit last night. I got one back to Craig. My father decided to go ahead and stay at home and get some much needed rest. Me? I was told there was a video game store in this town. I'm gonna find it. Say fucko? <laughs> so I found the place. Let's check it out. Actually, I did. Um, yeah, I was wondering how much your uh, gargoyles was. I didn't even know they made a gargoyles game. Oh, yeah, they did. It's really good, actually. Well, all the Disney games on here are pretty good. Yeah, that's why. Because I, I have like Aladdin, Lion King, you know. Yeah. The, the Disney, I don't know what happened. Disney used to, like, Disney should have stuck with Capcom or something because they were great. It's that one right behind. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's 24. Wow. I didn't think it would be that much. It's kind of the same deal as the uh, cabinet over there. These two cabinets have the more rare, popular stuff, and then the other two cabinets are more common. Oh, okay. So, Frozen Time is probably going to be 50 bucks. So. Yeah, I think it's even more than that. Is it? Yeah. Let's see. This Super That's Nintendo stuff is actually worth more than the 8-bit stuff. Really? Oops. 69. 69, yeah. That's a, uh, did Super Metroid go up in price, too? Yeah. Cause I actually have a copy of Super Metroid, so I'm just wondering how much. Like, yep, oh wow! Yeah. It's going up. Mm -hmm. You know, the first time I saw it, the first time I got it, it was around forty dollars at the time. But I went to this one game store; they were charging eighty for it oh, wow. at that time, and then they tried to charge me one hundred eighty for the box top. <laughs> so I got, I just got out of there and picked up a couple games. I picked up Guardian Legend for ten dollars, and then I picked up Rescue the Embassy Mission for six ninety nine. When I was trying to check out the store owner named Hugh or something like that, he tried to tell me that the game was $9.99. I show, showed him that, hey, state law, you have to accept the sticker price. And he said, that's the policy of the store. I said, no, that's state law. So he was trying to tell me to get the lawyer or something. He goes, no, 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 I'll, I'll just take it this time. When someone tries to do that to you, here's a pro tip. You threaten to call the Better Business Bureau and you lodge a complaint with them. You let them know, hey, this is what happened at the store. This is against, I know this is against state law. They have to accept the sticker price. They cannot raise the prices right then and there, right in front of you. That is illegal. As far as this place goes, good place, but don't let them screw you over.